Hey, yeah. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Look at today. It's beautiful out. It's hot out. I got the fan going. The air conditioning's going. Now, if you're watching this in the wintertime, hopefully your windows are closed. You got a nice snuggly blanket and you're enjoying it. And some good times with your loved ones. Welcome to Art Class with Herm, everyone. I'm Herm, as you couldn't tell, the only guy in the room. I'm an artist and illustrator based here in sunny Brooklyn, and I love baseball and love to draw it. And during this next 30 minutes or so, I'd love to share that excitement of drawing baseball and drawing in general with you, too. So in this quarantine art club that we've came up with, it started in March, goodness gracious, as we go by. Today is July 29th, 2020. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to do a drawing. Uh, most likely a Mets drawing. It is a Mets drawing. I know the future on this case. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. and We'll have a really good time with it. Great. So welcome back, everyone. This is really exciting. Like I said, this, this is our 28th episode, season one, if I may, which is pretty awesome. So this is actually, we're taking a pause after this episode. So if you've drawn every class with us, let me see it. Raise your hand. You in the back? Nice. Awesome. Cool. So throw in the comments if you did it. I love you so much. Thanks for joining with us. I hope you really, really enjoyed it and had a great time. So like I said, our 28th class, don't worry if you're just coming in now. Welcome to the club. There's 27 other episodes. Look, math kids. You can simply scroll back on all of the seven line feeds that you're looking on right now, Instagram, Facebook, you know it, and you can view all of the previous classes. So they're there forever on the interwebs and you can continue drawing and maybe draw a couple of times to get even better at certain things. Now, if you prefer like YouTube, no sweat. You can go on ourclasswithherm.com. That's gonna bring you to a nice playlist of all of our past drawings. And you can check all of those out and watch them gloriously on your 80,000 inch television. And it's gonna look super awesome. Great. Cool. So welcome back. Like I said, let's see, what did we do last week? I remember we drew Joan Payson, which was awesome. Last week, it was Women in Baseball Week, hashtag. And that was really, really fun. We had a lot of people draw with us. So check out that episode. Joan Payson is awesome. So thank you to everyone that shared your drawings along with us. So like we've done in our past classes, we want to do here to continue the tradition. We want to give a $10 gift card to three artists that we selected that we thought did a really awesome job through the course of our drawing classes. So this week is no different, like I said. So big shout outs to Tara, Matt, and Caitlin. That's Caitlin from Milan. Caitlin, I'm sorry we never we didn't get you for a gift card for a while there, but we got you on the last episode of the season. So for those of you who don't know, Caitlin was drawing from Milan, Italy, which is pretty cool. So, you know, our Mets fandom is strong. We're all over the world, baby. Look at that. Great. Cool. All right. So let's think about, let's talk about the, the supplies that we're going to be using for our drawing today. So first things first, I always start with just a standard piece of piece piece of paper i'm just using one that i pulled right out of my printer nothing crazy super cheap but if you want to use something nice please go for it crayons pencils markers paints the sky is the limit you can draw with whatever you want but say i'll be using just a brush pen and just some crayons that i have laying around here we're gonna do that and we'll be drawing with that here too great uh, and then the last thing, just a big shout out. I, you know, I always love my nice cup of coffee. Nothing says good morning on 95 degree weather like a piping hot cup of coffee. That one was for free to the coffee world. But big shout outs to, yes, Sail Away Coffee. Thanks, guys. So once again, Sail Away Coffee has been gracious enough to hook us up and sponsor this episode as they did the past two months, which is great. So just to check out sail away nitro cold brew coffee it's infused with nitrogen which gives it a cream an incredible creamy texture organic dairy and gluten-free grass-fed too i heard so you can order that at sailawaycoffee.com which is really great and even to spice up their love for us they've given us a 20 percent off coupon that you can use on their website so select anything you want some donuts some delicious coffee i like the, the hot coffee myself personally the captain's blend but if you type in herm20 h-e-r-m-2-0 at checkout you're going to get 20 percent off of your entire order so again big shout out to sail away coffee thank you so much and if you get any of the coffee let us know tell me if there's a certain flavor or something i should try i as we talked in the past I, I don't like a lot of sugar so i've been drinking the unsweetened i'm hyper enough i don't need any more of that 
Great, cool. So you guys still here? That was a lot of me babbling. It's all right, you love my voice. Hello. So let's talk about what we're gonna be drawing today. So today we are drawing Homer the Beagle, who is, and correct me if I'm wrong, he is the first live mascot of the Mets. So basically, to take a stroll back for a second with if you guys have been following the baseball season so far, the, the four or five games that have happened, you've, there's been a lot of dog talk. And this is right up my alley. I love dogs. So it was really cool. The, the other day, someone hit a home run out in City Field, and it perfectly hit Willow McNeil. The cardboard, the cardboard cut out. The dog is fine. fine. Listen, we love our pets here, especially at City Field. But it looks like in the back in the outfield there, they have like a little a dog parade. All the cardboard cutouts of a bunch Two of the players, Duval, dogs are out there. And Duval. Willow uh, missed missed the, the catch, but Duval. definitely got a little bit of the love on television, which is there. So I thought that was really funny and really cute. Duval. So on that same vein of dog love, we wanted to talk about a, a mascot that doesn't really get a lot of love. Ha, have you guys ever heard of Homer the Beagle before? Yeah, you know, I've seen pictures of him, but I never really looked it up. I thought it was just this cute thing. But the story of Homer the Beagle is he was the first Mets mascot. And basically, every time a Met would hit a home run, which was few and far between back in those days, he would run the bases. And from what I've read, too, it looked like he only really, like, had one game because he, like, went to run the bases and he, like, made it to second and then just skedaddled. <laughs> hit out to whole outfield or something like that. I've been told that Casey Stengel hated Homer the Beagle. <laughs> So anyway, but we love him here. So we're going to draw him here. We got some baseballs and you've seen him. He's got that cute little sign and this little jacket and stuff. He's such a cute beauty. Cool. So what we're going to do, if you just looks intimidating, don't worry, guys and gals. I am going to draw with you step by step. And I'm going to show you how to draw this beautiful little puppy right here. Sound good? All right. So like I said, let's start off with our piece of paper here. Let me get down there. My paper here. Cool. So I am going to be drawing horizontally or sideways my paper. So this would be, this is how you normally, this is like the standard way of paper. Right? Would you get it? We're going to be drawing it sideways or horizontally. So the long, the long side is on the top and the bottom there. So you can use a pencil or a pen or whatever. I'm going to be personally using my pencil brush pen. And now I, this is my favorite thing to draw with. And it shows up nice on camera so you guys can kind of see that. So after 28 episodes, I always tell you, you want to map out where you want your drawing to be. But if you've caught the last 10 or so, you've seen that that has not worked out for me. I've gotten too excited and like, <laughs> like draw, had to add sheets of paper as we drew. But today I feel good. I feel like we've, I, I finally got that on lockdown and we'll be good. All right, you guys ready to draw? Cool. All right, so as you remember, certain when we draw like Mr. Med or, or certain people on the show and stuff, we usually like to start with the nose. Because for me, the nose is kind of like the center point. As I feel like if you're drawing and you get the nose right, this is kind of your anchor. And you can know, all right, there's the nose, the mouth is here, and the eyes, and things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the nose. We'll do the mouth, we'll do the head, and then we'll kind of build our way down a little bit. Normally, I would draw this with like a pencil and then go in with my brush pen and kind of fix it. But uh, today, we're going to do it just with ink, and I'll, I'll show you how I break it down. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a nose. So a dog nose is the same way you can draw a cat nose. I don't know if that helps you at all. But what I do is I just come right here, and we're going to start with this kind of like a little, like a, I guess a rainbow kind of shape. So I'm just going to draw like that kind of shape there, right there. So this is our first mark we made. Look at that. Congratulations. You are an artist. You are drawing now. Pretty awesome, right? So... What I do now is there's always kind of like these like little bumps on the inside. So it's kind of like I'm look at making it look like a bent staple. You know a staple when you pull it out of a piece of paper? So it kind of looks like that, these two little bumps. And then I come down like this. And I make this shape right here. So I don't, maybe it's like a cool letter T or like a Cheeto. How many times have I said Cheeto? If you've watched all the episodes and kept track, there you go. But yeah, so that, this is my go-to shape for a, a, a pet nose. So you, if you can draw this, you can draw a cat nose and a dog nose overall. All right, so now that we've laid out 
where our nose is, let's go and let's add our mouth. So the beagles, they kind of have like a snout, right? Like they have a, that big nose. So we're going to kind of draw this like W underneath because there's like two, like two sides of the nose. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to come over here on the left. Then Apologies for my freckly hand. I'll move out of the way in a second. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to come down. And I'm going to bring it into the bottom part of the nose there. Then I'm going to continue. We're making this W shape. Now this shape, I'm going to keep going and come back just a little bit. Kind of like to right there. Right, so you can see I started here and then made that one come down a bit. Because this is going to be like the back of the mouth where we're going to be holding our sign. So you see that W with that upside down number three? Now under here, I'm just going to make this other little like horseshoe shape. Like right there on the bottom there. And that's like at the bottom part of his mouth. Great, so now you start, we're starting to get something, right? So now that we have our nose and our mouth right here, let's go and I'm going to add these three little circles. One, two, three, just like this. And these are like where his whiskers would be. There you go. This also, if you wanted to draw somebody with freckles. When I draw me, I always put those little <laughs> circles right there. All right, so now we got the front part of the, like the nose. Let's go in and let's add in like the length of the nose, like the snout. So to do that, I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna kind of make this like this like wavy line, kind of like this lump. Let me show you. So I come up and I come up like this and then down and then like that. Can you guys see that? Kind of like a weird shape there. But that shape that I put at the top, that's like his, to show a little length, like how long his nose is there. All right, so now let's come over here on the side where this mouth is and I'm gonna make this big, it's kind of a half circle. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna come up like this and then make, I'm gonna stop like right here. So this is like the side of the head. I'm gonna make these two little horseshoe shapes like right there. So there's are some eyes. So now that we got that here, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna take a step back for a second and I'm gonna draw the sign in his mouth. Now, the reason I'm drawing it like this is because I'm using ink so you can see like where the lines break down. But like right here, I'm going to draw a line like this. And then one right here. So this is like the part, this is like that like bar that's in this mouth. And I'm going to make a little, little rectangle. So I'm just going to kind of connect the two of those. So I'm going to come it through. And remember, it's in his mouth, so I'm going to pause right there, make that break and come along right down there too. Great, so there's like that sign. There's that bar. So now we're gonna make another big rectangle right here. And that's the sign that you've seen on, on the internet that says like, let's go mad to see, you know? So again, I'm just gonna come down here and I'm going to make a big rectangle, but I'm just gonna make sure I make it a little bit smaller than this, this bar that we just drew a second ago. So feel free to jump ahead of me. I'm just drawing like a rectangle right here. I'm kind of popping that in right there. There we go. So now we have this rectangle. So there's the bar and our rectangle. So let's go in here and let's add his ear. So the ear, I'm going to come right here. So he has like these big ears, right? Like those beagle ears. So you can see like it's going to kind of come up and down and up and down because there's like a muscle here, right? That like makes sure the dog's ears pop up. So let's draw that in right now. So I'm going to come over here on the left. And let's pop up like that. I'm gonna pop up. And after I pop up, I'm gonna come down like this. Pause right there. And then come down right there like that. Great, so it's almost like you're dropping like a, like a wing or something, right? So now that we have that, I'm gonna draw it again. So now that's the outside of my ear. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna draw like a similar kind of shape. Follow it along on the inside. You see that? Now the reason that I like to draw that is that shows like your ear. So if you guys, if you guys were to touch your ear real quick and you see there's like those folds in your ears, your dogs have that too and your cats a little bit. So that's kind of like what we're drawing right there. All right, so let's do the same thing over here, but just a little bit different. So I'm gonna start over here, like right where this eye is. And I'm gonna come up like this, make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna come down like this, kind of bend in. So you see kind of the shape, it's like the top of a question mark. Because I want it to come back behind our sign here. Now we can continue it right here. 
Now, kind of like what we drew here, we're going to draw it here, but in a different position. So I'm going to come down right here and kind of follow this shape again. I'm going to come down like this and make this little curve and pop that here. So you see this line right here? So this is kind of like the other side of his ear. And then I'll do that one more time. Make another shape like this. And again, kind of follow that same kind of shape. So if you followed along in the other classes, you're starting to learn. You're starting to probably see a lot how I draw. I love these little lines, and I think it really um, rounds everything out. Cool. So there's the top of our head. That's pretty cute, right? All right, so before, so let's see now. What can we draw now? All right, so let's go ahead and let's start to draw his body in there. So we'll come back to the sign and up to the head in just a second. But what we can do now is we can draw his body. So how I did is I kind of gave him like a cute little belly. He's like, you know, he's been eating all the, the hot dogs and the, and the hamburgers and stuff. So we can give him like this cute little belly. And remember, he has like this belt on here for his jacket. So I'm going to come here. Like, so if I was to follow, like hover, not touching the paper, like right above, I'm going to bring my pen right about here here and I'm going to come down and I'm just going to make this little belly kind of like a pop. I'm going to stop right there. Cool, right? And then uh, well, let's see what we'll do now. So I got that little belly right there and then I'm going to come up over here and I'm going like right about here. I'm going to come down again. And I have like this line right there. What I'm doing now is I'm laying out where his jacket and his stomach is going to be. So now I'm going to take this line. I'm going to draw that belt in there real quick. So what I do for that is I come down. And again, apologies for my hand. And I come down like this. And we make like that kind of belt. And this is a fun little fact. Can you guys see that? You see on the ends, like I kind of curve that little line right there. Now, the reason I do that, let me show you my final drawing here. If you kind of curve on those ends right there, where you make it go a little farther than where you want to go, it makes it look like a belt, like it's turned, which is really cool. So that's just a fun little drawing technique that I use. All right. So, so now that we drew it like that, let's come up here and I'm going to come up. So you see what I mean? You see here on the left, I kind of like came up a little. I'm trying to look in the camera there. I kind of came up a little bit and then turned it. So you can see like it's not perfectly connected, but you can see the roundness of that, that belt. And I'm going to come around here. We're going to come up and it kind of ended the same way. Just like that. It's starting to come together. <laughs> this is so cute. I think this might be my favorite one. All right, so now that we have that here, Let's go in and I'm going to come up a little bit more. Probably this end because we're going to draw his coat. And I'm going to draw this right here. Add that in. And then I'm going to continue this line and I'm going to kind of curve it at the bottom. Because again, this is his coat. So this is what we're going to use to show like this, this the size of his body. Super cute, right? Almost like a hot dog. And then right here, I'm going to come in. We're going to continue the curve to show his belly. And we'll stop like right there. Cute, right? He's just feet. So you see your dog or your cat, they kind of have like those, I call them little chicken cutlets, those little, little muscles on the back legs there, like their thighs. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up this like curve line, like right here. So that's that little chicken cutlet. And then we're going to come in and start to draw his toes. So he comes in like this. And I make this kind of like little bump right there. You guys see that? And then these are his little little toes. Let's pop that in. I'm going to come around back here. And continue like that. So it's starting to look like a chicken wing or like, you know, Thanksgiving. There's like the, the, the leg and the toes. And I'll add another toe back here. Just another little rainbow shape. They kind of give that, ex that show that that leg is there. And then back here, the little chicken cutlet I was telling you about. We roll that back right here. So you can see he's like sitting on it. And connect that. Ooh, I have to sneeze. False love.
<laughs> Did I get you excited for that sneeze? Anyway, but look, so you can start to see we're getting we're getting homers coming along pretty easy, right? All right, cool. So now this leg that we drew, let's try it again here. So again, that little chicken cutlet. Do you guys call it a little chicken cutlet too, or am I just weird? Am I just hungry? So there's that little that little meaty little thigh there. And then we're going to draw the feet just like we did before, right? So there's like the toe. And then another toe. Like that. So a little heart. And then we're going to come in and I'm going to build it in into the back right here. And then I usually draw three toes on my pet drawings. And what you can do on that. Oops. You see like right there. So like I drew, this is like the main part, like that heart that we drew. And then I just threw in a little rainbow at the back there. And that's just like an extra toe to kind of give a little definition. Great. So that's that there. So you can see, so this is like, let me show you my final drawing. So when I, so we just drew our head, the sign, the belly, and his little feetsies there. We started to draw his jacket in there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to draw this kind of a shape over here on the left to fill out the rest of his jacket. So in order to do that, so this is our belt, right? So I'm just going to come up here from the sign and I'm going to draw a little line that comes down and I'm going to connect, stop, draw it to like right there. Then I'm going to come down here, a little space and come down and pop that right there. So now you can start to see his jacket. So what I'm going to do is on the inside there, I'm just going to take my pen and I'm going to lightly draw in those other little lines, kind of like we did in the ears, right? You're just like sh kind of just shaping out and lightly drawing that, that little heavenly little glow, I like to say. And the one over here too. And again, this is just a fun little drawing technique you can do to make your drawing pop a little bit more, make it look a little bit more interesting. So I do that there. I'm going to do the same thing on the top part of our uh, belt here. Just a little bit there. There we go. Super cute. All right. So like your belt, right? There's like the part of it that hangs out a little bit. So Homer's got that too. So we're going to pop that right here. So I'm going to kind of draw like these two little lines that come out. And then I'm going to draw a little triangle. So we drew like a little house. You see that there? So that's like the end part of Homer's belt. And then I'm just going to draw like another little line just at the top there. All right, we're getting there. Let's try this little, let's draw. So he's got another, how did you say, another leg, a little arm, like right here. So similar to these guys here, we're just going to come down. I'm going to draw like these two little shapes. They come like that. And then we're going to draw kind of like this pop. If you were here for episode two, when we drew popcorn, this is very similar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here on the left and I'm going to go one loop, two loops, three loops. There you go. He's got his little paw. That's so cute. <laughs> the little paw right there. Almost looks like a nose. All right. So now that we got a nice little layout of Homer here, let's go and let's draw his arm because we have him like he's holding a, 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 a pennant in the sand, like a flag, right? Because dogs do that. Let's draw that in there. So his arm's going to be like right here. So I'm going to come in right here and I'm going to draw a line that comes up like that. Just like that. And then another one down here. So again, I'm going to come up here. It's going to be like bigger here near the side and get thinner towards his, his hands. So again, just like that. Can you see what I'm doing? Like I kind of go in diagonally where it's like wider here and then gets thinner like right there. So then here, we're going to draw his, his, hand, his toes, hands, toes, fingers, who knows? What do you call it? Paws? All that fun stuff. We'll draw that in. So I'm going to come up here. Thank you for Darren for the assist right there. I saw him mouthing the answer. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. <laughs> so we have like this little bump that we have here. This is like the thumb. And then we're going to have like these two other little bumps right here. So there's one. And then here's three. So that's like his hand, right? So you can see this is where he's going to be holding the banner. So now in order to make like the flag or the pennant, it's pretty straightforward. What I do is I just, we're going to draw like another little 
uh, rectangle, very similar to what we did with what's in his mouth here. So let me draw one here. This is like the stick that the pennant or the little flag is connected to. Pop that up right there. Do any of you guys have like pennants at, at your house? Like these little Mets pennants? I have some pretty cool. My dad gave me one from like back in the day in the 60s. It's so cool. Old Mr. Mets drawing on there. But if you guys got any, let me know. There's some, there's some really cool ones from the 90s I wish I still had with like, you know, Doc Gooden and all those guys. You remember those like old school drawings from the 90s? They're like airbrushed. Those are really cool. Anyway, back to the show. So now that we have that stick right there, we're going to draw this like triangle, just like this, like a pizza slice. So that's our little pennant there. And then what I like to do when I draw these pennants is on the ends here, I draw like two rectangles that are a little diagonal from each other. So like that. You see that there? There you go. You see that right there? There's two little, it's like, like a mouth coming up the side. I did the same thing over here. The one down and one up. And those are just like those little ribbons or those tassels that are on there. So also in the pen, I'll just draw another little line right here to kind of show that on. Cool. cool. So let's see. So we have our let's come back, let's come back to writing on it before it. Let's lay everything out. So we got we got Homer, the, the beagle here, his arm and his pennant. Let's give him a tail. So his tail's gonna be right here, right? So I draw a tail, I'm just gonna come up like a curve like that and then we come down and draw another curve like this so cute right so that's my little tail now i want him to wag his tail because he's super excited so what i do is yeah i just i'm gonna do some quick lines like this like one two three one two three so you see that i did like this you can put more if you want i just put three and that just makes it look like his tail is wagging right all right, so let's go in and let's add that fun stuff on for Homer. So everyone knows the picture, right? It says, let's go Mets. So that's what I'm going to write right here. So let's say, all right, let's go Mets. Yeah, I'm just going to write that in. And, but you can certainly write whatever you want. I'm just basing it off of what that really cute picture is. Let's go Mets. You could write art class with Herm or happy birthday, Mary. I don't know any Marys, nor are they, it's their birthday, but somewhere a Mary is celebrating her birthday. Let's go Mets, right there. So I wanted to draw a cute little Mr. Met on there. So you can go back and I think episode one, we drew Mr. Met. So I'm just gonna draw him in there real quick. Draw a little hat, little circle, little nose, beep. Eyeballs in the mouth. So I had to get a Mr. Met in there. One of my favorite things to draw. There we go. Some little, let's see, some little stitches. There's a little Mr. Met. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. We have to draw something that's holding our sign to this pole, right? So I'm gonna take a little circle like right here, right there, and another one like kind of like right there. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make these like curly cues. Look at that and bring them up to the bar, the little rectangle that we made up here. Little curly cues. There we go, so cute, right? And then just like we did here on the pennant with these little little mouths, do the same thing here. Make, a little, like, make these little bunny ears. Little bunny ears, like when you tie your shoes. All right, so there we have that there. So up here on the pennant, this is cool. You can write whatever you want. I'm gonna write amazing right here so that's a in bubble letters but again you can write anything you want you can write your name you can write herm you can write your dog's name well, you know i'm keeping up with the the mets theme here so amazing m-a-a-m-a-m-a -A 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 -A. goodness gracious z i n so it's really cool here you guys can see when you're drawing in a shape like that, you see like the, it's like a, a pizza slice, that triangle, you wanna kind of fall in with it. So I made, so what I mean with that is this letter's bigger and they get smaller towards the smaller part of the shape. Now, when you draw like that, it makes it look more realistic in a way, right? 
I know you're saying, Herm, it's a dog holding a, fl a flag, a pennant. It's not realistic at all, please. It certainly is. New York is a magical place. All right, so before we get coloring, let's go in. So like on my drawing here, just for fun, I drew this little line right here. So it looks like he's sitting on like the floor and draw these little baseballs. So let's draw some baseballs down here. So baseballs are pretty easy to draw, right? So let's draw a couple of circles. So I'm gonna draw a circle right here. And I'm gonna draw another circle behind it. Now you see, like this one, I didn't draw all the way. I made it look like it's behind it. And so you just kind of like, so imagine this part is invisible. So you stop right there. Now I'll draw another circle right here. So I have three baseballs over here. Let's add a couple over here. So I add one right here. And now I'm gonna make the other baseballs look like they're behind this baseball. So here's the one. So another circle. So you can see, right, I come up and basically I stop when I meet this, the ball in the front. And the same thing in the back, ready? Then one like that. So you see that they almost look like they're like kind of bunched up and you can kind of see the depth, like it's like one in front of it. And the baseballs, right, they have the stitching. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add these stitches in all of them. Maybe just a couple of little lines like this. Now, when you're doing this, what I like to do is I make the lines all look a little different, you know, kind of coming up from different areas. So it makes the balls look a little different. So we have those stitching lines. And then let's make those little hearts. So I make these little hearts. And I just follow the lines right there. Can you guys see that? See those little hearts right there? Whoa, extreme close up. So these are the stitches. That's like the little red part that you see in your baseballs. And I'm just gonna kind of draw those in on our baseballs. But you can draw, so I drew six baseballs, but you can draw as many as you want. I think it'd be cool if he was like swimming in them, like Scrooge McDuck swimming into the, the money. All right, so there we go. We have our baseballs down there. And now I'm gonna draw this line back here. So it looks like that Homer the Beagle is sitting on a floor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here. So make sure you watch what I do first before you pop that on. But I'm gonna come like this, I stop at the baseball, come along, stop at Homer, come over here, and then just bring that line all the way across, just like that. Cute, right? There we go, so there's our drawing. So let's color it in. So I'm just gonna color mine in pretty fast on there just to kind of get that out of the way. So um, a lot of beagles are brown. So I'm just gonna kind of have this kind of brown in there. But if you wanted to have a pink beagle or a blue beagle or something like that, please do it. I really wanna see what that looks like. And that's what's really fun about drawing is it's like you are in charge, right? You can draw anything you want. I think the best advice I ever got with drawing is I was trying to draw something to make it look just like the picture I was looking at. And uh, my friend, he goes, he's like, you can do whatever, man. He's like, draw it differently. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> and I did. And that made drawing so much more because you it's your drawing. And every drawing that you make is special to you. And it makes each one look a little bit better overall. So I'm just going to color those in right here. So I'm coloring my Homer the Beagle right there. And a little bit of pop right here. So how how is uh how's your day going, guys? A little brown right here. Do so you guys have any dogs or, or pets that you dress up in Mets Mets outfits? If you do, oh my goodness, please share it with me. There's like the I love to see that. I remember in 2015 during that World Series, my <laughs> my sister drew her cat to look like Daniel Murphy. Remember him? And she made a little jersey for him that said Murphy. <laughs> We're very creative here in the Hermita household. I thought that was really cute. So again, you guys can color this however you want. I'm just kind of coloring this in really fast right there. But that was really fun. So let's see what else we got here. So red, so I'm gonna add some red in the stitches of the baseballs. Pop that there. But again, again, I'm drawing this really quick. So feel free to take your time with it. And like we did, you know, let's, let's kind of reminisce. Where, where are you guys drawing from today? 
like we said, we had Caitlin from Milan who would just want a gift card, which is pretty cool. So hopefully you're watching with us, Caitlin. I hope Milan is nice. We've had people from Japan watch, which is really cool. We've had people from Spain. So international here on our, on our, our class. And of course, people all over the country, you know, LA and Texas and California and all that. So I'm just gonna draw his little jacket here blue. I don't even know, I guess it's blue. I don't know if I found any color photos of what Homer the Beagle looks like. But I'm all over the place and my mind wanders when I draw. Color that in right there. And I'll draw a little Mr. Matt right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Color that in right here. Coloring, yeah. You guys watching baseball? It's been pretty crazy, right? To watch it with nobody in the stands. I, I don't know. My, so we got two cutouts. I got one, there's one for me and one for my dad. And I have seen my dad on the, the TV a couple of times, which was pretty cool. Still looking for me. I'm the bald guy with the big red beard. Easy to easy to catch, I assume. I'll pop that on there. But it was cool. You see the, the seven line army out back there, which is cool. I saw Brody, which was pretty sick. So lots of cool stuff going on. There's dogs out there. I think that's something really special about, you know, the Mets. We're, we're a fun team. You don't see the Yankees having something like that. But anyway, there's Homer the Beagle. Nice and colored on there. Super cute. So if you spend a little more time on your drawing, you can kind of have a cool looking like mine. But like we do in all of our classes, you know, you want to sign your drawing. I think it's really important. You know, you spent a lot of time on it and you want to show off how much fun you had. So I'm going to sign right here on the bottom, right? I'm just going to sign my name. So let's write Herm. I like to draw these little smiley faces there. Yay. And then let's date our drawing. That way on this drawing journey of, of ours, you know, you can see how much better you've gotten. So today is July 29th. I like to do it like this. 2020. So there's our drawing right there. Super fun. Awesome. I hope you guys enjoy drawing it as much as I did. I wanted to thank you, each and every one of you, for drawing with us over this course of this time. You know, we started out like totally inside and then the sun came out and people started to go inside and then we had to come back inside again and all that. So my point is, is, you know, be safe, be careful, tell your family how awesome they are and tell your friends how awesome they are and have fun drawing every, every day. You guys are amazing. I'm sure we'll be back. I really enjoyed doing this and I hope you guys had fun too. Thank you again for joining us. Remember to check out sailawaycoffee.com, Herm 20, 20% 20 off. Get something awesome. Tell them Herm sent you. Keep drawing, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh my God, I didn't, I didn't plug myself. I was getting so emotional. Did you see that? But listen, share your drawings. <laughs> hey, yeah, so let's see your drawings. Oh my goodness. You see, I, I was gonna cry there for a second, but don't worry, I'm still here. Your drawings are awesome. Show the world. If you want to post them on Instagram, please tag me at Herm Herman. I really want to see it. I love to share them and, and see how awesome he did. Or if you'd like to put them on Twitter, you can just tag me at hermsterms.com so I can check that out. And also tag the seven line too. That way we can share it out with everybody and the whole big crew can check them out. Now, if you don't want to show it online, but you still wanted to show it to me, that's awesome. You can email me at herm at hermsterms.com. I get quite a few emails every week with people's drawings, so those are really great to see. I'd, I'll always comment and write you back. And then if you wanted to see some other stuff that I've been working on lately, you can check out my website at hermsterms.com. They see some of the other stuff I've been working on. Um, there's a store there, too, so if you guys wanted to buy like a little zine or a sticker or something like that, I'd be happy to send you one. Awesome. Well, there it is, guys. Episode 28 in the books, season one, our class with Herm. You're awesome. Keep, keep shining, you crazy diamonds. I love you to death. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. And keep rocking. Share your drawings. And don't stop drawing. Continue to draw. And maybe you can come up with a great drawing that we can draw in our next time that we meet up together. So stay in touch, guys. Can't wait to see your drawings. And have, have a wonderful day. Bye. And the bird flies away, but it's coming back over here. <laughs>